News. You're watching ABC 7 Eyewitness News. College is a time of transition, and it can be tough to find a balance. Up next, tips for the right mix of school, work, and social life. Whether it's back to school after the winter break or starting college for the first time, getting into the groove of things can be tough for students sometimes. A lot of them work part-time, they're busy. How do you balance classes, your job, your social life? You gotta throw that in there too. Well, Matthew Stewart, CEO of College Works Painting is here with tips and information for all of you college kids out there. Hopefully you're up and awake listening to this, or your parents probably are. So nice yeah. to have you here. Thank you for having me. Let's go ahead and talk about this. What is the most important message that you really do want to get out there about all these students who are headed back to college right now? Well, college is about juggling, and I think that college students have to make sure they align their long-term goals with their short-term goals. So figuring out where you want to be at the end of four years is very important to figuring out where you want to be in 20 years. That's the most important message. It seems obvious that some kids will start thinking about this, to set their expectations, to have a good GPA, consider the number of credit hours. I know you have all kinds of questions that they need to ask themselves. Do you find that they're not doing this already? I think a lot of them are. A lot of college students know that they have, they have four years. They have three summers. They're starting their life. Some college students don't understand that and they're having a hard time managing their time. They've got a lot to juggle. They've got to make choices and the choices they make today may affect where they are in 20 years. So how much time do I spend with my friends? How much time do I study? How much time do I work? It seems in conflict, and they have to figure out how to get it aligned so their long-term goals are accomplished. So be, be very specific. What can help students adjust their schedules? Well, I think first of all, they need to set goals. They need to set short-term goals that align with long-term goals. Second, I think it's important to make a plan, make a calendar. And what students sometimes forget is to plug in the time they need to prepare for deadlines. So they're not waking up at six in the morning the day before finals, they're studying throughout the year, and that'll give them time to work and socialize. So it doesn't seem like school's taking away from life, it seems like school's part of life and then contingency planning and, and getting a job and getting experience. All right, let's talk about the contingency plan. What do you mean by that? What's the idea behind this? Well, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. And so if you've got a job and you're at school, do you have a shift change partner in case you get sick? So they'll cover your job and you don't lose your job due to some unfor unforeseen condition. Having a rainy day fund, having money set aside, and you know, getting a job and getting experience so you're not counting just on your fraternity brothers and your grades to get you a job when you get out of school. Right, it seems like this next one is, you should treat school just like you treat a job. Don't skip out, show up to class. Some of these are just old school, do what you're supposed to do. Well, your parents aren't nagging you uh, because they don't love you, they love you, and it's right. If you treat school like a job, you're practicing for your job, and it's important that you're, that you're ready for life when you get out of school and uh, you've done the things you need to do. And the opportunities as far as business experience is out there too? Well, everyone coming out of college has college on their resume. So there's internships you can get, jobs you can get, but you're gonna be competing with people that already have been in school and already have gotten experience. So it's important that you get the experience that you need to compete four years out of school. All right, thank you so much. Once again, Matthew Stewart. Thank you very much for having me. Giving all those college students out there a refresher, if you will. So if you wanna review all these tips too, just go to our website, abc7chicago.com. You can also check out that out later this morning. So. Be sure to click on See It on TV, too. We'll be right back after a short break here. Time is 6.52.